Oh my gosh, that looks so fun. Hey, I'd be the most lit person there. I put it down. It's too much for me, man. I couldn't do that. Okay, so today we're gonna show you a few videos of a popular tradition from teens across the globe in Norway. Oh, Norway, that's very far. That's like close to my home. <laughs> Where are you from? Denmark. Yeah, so I'll probably recognize some of it. Today I want to talk about the Norwegian Rus. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> what? Rus is a term that is used for people who graduate high school in year 13. It's what the heck? Bad. The whole point of being a Rus is to celebrate the fact that you've finished high school, you've done 13 years of school. I was like their prom, so graduation thing? Of, so the period that you are a Rus is usually the last week of April until the 17th of May. 17th of a May month National to day, celebrate? So that's the last day you have to celebrate. I so sort of know it. In Denmark, it's kind of different though. Like we kind of get like this card mm -hmm. on our um, like 13th year and you decorate it and you put like up like kind of like a school motto. So it's kind of like in America how you get like a senior quote. It's cool to see like what they do in Norway because I actually didn't know it was different. You wear a set of pants like these that I have. They can be- Oh, those are cute. No offense, but I don't know about that fashion trend. Then you also make these silly business cards. This is my one. That's also crazy. Kids will just come up to you and ask for your business card. That's so or interactive, or what? The kids are usually very sweet and they get super excited to see you. So it kind of feels like you're a celebrity, which- Interesting. We don't like dress up or like give out business cards. We just kind of like party and like drive around from street to street. You get to meet all your classmates' parents and family and like some of the parents are like, you know, super festive and they're like, they've decorated the whole house. Which leads us nicely into the next bit about Rus, which is Rusiknutid. These are challenges that are set to the Rus. Usually they're very silly things like eat Dang, breakfast graduation's really a big deal over there. Usually they're very silly things like eat breakfast in a roundabout or sit underneath <laughs> your desk for a lesson. Then it can also be really bad things like having sex with the person at your school who is responsible for the Rus. That went extreme real fast. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> repeat? What I find the most crazy about the Rus celebration is the buses. Now some people take this stuff buses? Free. They buy buses and they kit them out with loads of equipment as in stereos and lights oh. and just party stuff. They pimp they it. That yeah, sounds fun, but it sounds like a lot of work. Then, like, they decorate the outside of it and then like 10 to 15 the Rus will just go around and party in this bus. Hey, that's dope. Oh uh, yeah. People release their that's names. That's exactly what we have. People follow their groups and they announce where the next party is going to be, where the bus is headed. So Thanks. So everybody knows the where the party's at. That's awesome. There is also a dedicated Rus parade in every city. It's a big thing. I wish we had that here in America. So there you go. You had about three weeks to party and do three party. weeks. I feel like your last like three weeks you should be like studying. You usually have about five days until your exams start. Wait, Wait this is before exams? Norway is on one. They wild it. Then you haven't actually done your exams yet, but that's Norwegian logic for you. Yep. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Sign me up. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Celebrating being done with high school and then you're not even done with high school. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the group of 26 senior girls who are in their roost year, which is their senior year in high school. It's common to start planning for your roost party as early as your freshman year. Oh, you have three years to party or to plan a party for three weeks? <laughs> to be a little bit stupid. Nah, it's to go wild. That's so smart though, like, you're young. Let yourself be young. Oh, that's so cute. That bus is crusty, but I bet it's gonna be like so pretty when they're done with it. Dang, they build their bus from the bottom up. Like they literally paint it. Pengene vi har brukt på bussen og vi skal bruke rustet, det får vi gjennom å spare selv og jobbe, og så gjennom dugnadsarbeid. Who pays them? Dugnadene gjorde jo på en måte, det er jo en del av det samholdet vi har hatt gjennom alle årene. Det at vi på en måte er sammen. This is awesome, this is like a cool like, this is a cool community thing. Jeg liker egentlig ikke dugnad, jeg synes ikke det er noe gøy. I love the language, it sounds so cool. Vi får penger, og vi gjør en bra jobb, som oftest. I'd rather put in all my time and effort doing this, and at the end be like, look, Look at, look at what we did. That's what makes it so much more fun. Finally, the last clip showcases various Rus celebrations. Dang, you guys are making me jealous. Wow. Hype. Oh, 
it's lit! Who's blowing the whistle? That really is keeping the party going, is the whistle. <laughs> Bus driver's like, <laughs> it's that time of year again. That's huge. Oh my god, the bus is so cute though. Dang! <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's like a rave. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that on my Snapchat. Oh, my Danish friends. That looks so fun. Three weeks of that every night. Holy sh. It just looks like a giant frat party. That's what it looks like. Hey, and they all have the matching fans. Aw. Damn, that looks fun as hell. That's fun, though. It's kind of just like one big last hurrah with like all the kids you grew up with. <laughs> the buses are so cute, and like to think that they all like spent their time and like painted it together, that's so cute. Kosten <laughs> Ferre. I love that it like ranges from like very huge buses to like a minivan. Like it's whatever you have, and I think that's what makes it fun. Okay, turn up. They take in shots are like 19. <laughs> yeah, just everyone looks like they're having a great time. I think that's what we need here. We're just so serious and boring. Oh my gosh, that looks so fun. Hey, I'd be the most lit person there. I put it down. That's so cool. I want to go back to Denmark and do that. I feel like this could get really unsafe real fast, though. It's too much for me, man. I couldn't do that. I went to a Catholic prom, so like we couldn't even like. We were just there, like Ugh. they're going crazy. I have mixed opinions, cause like. This is the dumb side of me. I'm like, dude, just getting partying and having fun for three weeks. Like, dude, hell yeah. But then I'm like, ah, three weeks. That's a lot. That's a long time. Okay, so we're not Norwegian, so we're gonna do our best to pronounce this correctly. Yes. But as we mentioned earlier, Rusifiring. Okay. Is a traditional celebration for Norwegian students in their final spring semester in high school, and it dates all the way back to 1905. <laughs> this isn't something new. That makes it a lot more reasonable for the parents to allow their kids to do it because their parents obviously did it, even their grandparents possibly did it. So these celebrations typically go on from April 20th to May 17th? I know. It's so long. Well, seeing this tradition, have you ever given thought to how other teens in other countries celebrate their final year of high school? I haven't given thought to it up until this point. Like, I'm surprised this isn't like a thing here. But I definitely know because of like foreign exchange students, they're more lax about kids having fun. So like the drinking ages are much lower versus like American culture. It's like, it's so totally different. I feel like prom is just like a high school thing everywhere, but I guess not. It's pretty cool to see though. Cause like, I you know like living in America, sometimes it's like living in a bubble. You just, you just assume like everybody else does what you do too. Since I graduated in Denmark, I was like, I kind of want to go see like how high school is like in America. It's kind of similar. It's just not as much like drinking and partying. So one of the main highlights of the South celebration is the Roos bus. Yeah. The bus is used by 15 to 25 students with some reporting the average cost of buying and renovating the bus to be around $116,000. That hurt my stomach. It's common to start planning for your Roos year starting freshman year. If this were a tradition here, do you think this is something you and your peers would be able to organize starting from freshman year, similar to the video we showed you? Yeah, well, the thing is, it costs money to go to college in America, so, you know, a lot of people's parents were like, you know, you could use that money towards your college. People here struggle to have the same friends for, like, two months. <laughs> so, uh, I definitely don't think that anyone in high school could have done that. If it was culturally acceptable to do it, I think it totally would be done in America. Most definitely. I, I would be the leader if I had to. I would push them, like, this is what's gonna happen, because we would have to be the most lit buzz. So another aspect of the tradition is the various dares the students complete in order to win these knots that they put on their goose caps. Some of these challenges can be as silly as wearing like bread on your feet for a day or chugging beer with tampons in your mouth. What? But they also get really racy, like daring someone to have sex outdoors. Oh my God. That's when I feel like it can get dangerous. People get in trouble because it could be silly things or it could be terrible things. We have that in Denmark. There's like different cuts like something like if you lose your virginity on the night and some of them are like, you know, as easy as like, you know, kissing a stranger. All of this is part of the tradition in Norway, but not everyone participates in it, of course, but there is that side. So do you think your parents and schools would be open to having a re celebration knowing those other sides to it? Truly, not even a little bit. Norway, it's been going on for a while, so everyone has a good idea, but if we were just to bring it over here, uh, I think everyone would be confused and everyone would be freaking out if we tried to bring this up and like, all right, listen, we have this cool idea. All right, Norway does it. We just party three weeks straight. I don't think the government 
<laughs> or the school system would allow that. We have this giant handcuff on our youth, and I think that's where a lot of our youth gets in trouble. But if you like let them have their fun with this three week thing, then it's a great way for them to get it all out and then focus on that fourth week for finals. There are so many implications that could happen if like you're caught with a video of you drinking or anything, like you could, it could be sent to your college you're going to. It's crazy, like that it's acceptable in Norway and it's it's just not acceptable here even though we're just kids and we, we're, we're doing the same thing, we're the same ages. So finally, there is celebrations and on May 17th, so teens in Norway are still partying as we film today. Party on. So if you had the chance, would you rather go to prom or have a roost party? Roost. Prom's one night. Roost is three weeks. I'd probably have the roost party. Roost. I'm going to the roost in my would have been prom suit. I would probably do the roost party. A roost party. Just because it's interesting to experience other cultures. I'd rather have a roost party. I'd probably stick with prom, just because I'm like, this is safe. Roost, because prom is one night. I'd rather go ham, three weeks of partying. Roost, please. I'd rather spend 100, 116 grand on a nice bus with a bunch of friends, you know, than go to prom, dress nice to be bored. Thanks for watching Teens React, and shout out to Money Team. New episodes every day. Hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. What should we react to next? Let us know down in the comments. And shout out to Savannah Taylor. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, we're Tia here, producer at FBE. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Teens React. Why not follow us on Twitter? We got some staff reactor Q&As, company announcements, and more. Follow us at FBE. Bye, guys.